Hello everyone, Lorenzo here from RVT. Uh, today we're gonna be installing a, a bull guard with from my wife's uh, Toyota Toyota 4Runner. I've never done one of these before, so uh, we'll see how it goes. According to the instructions, instructions. Well, I might have to remove that. I guess that plastic right there. Um, And then we'll go from there. Before I do that, though, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna go ahead and wash this bumper because once I put this on, I don't know if it's gonna be kind of hard to uh, clean that up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that first, and then remove the the uh, the guard or plastic guard that's under there. So I'm gonna do that first. All right. So I cleaned it up. I took the plastic off. But it's kind of confusing. On the instructions, it says that uh, to remove the slide, the side, uh, the side guards, plastic guards. But when you go down here, it doesn't look nothing like on the picture. The black and white picture that you can barely see on the instructions. So what I'm doing is. Is that I'm assuming that this goes in here where the bumper is right here so I just set it right there to see if if that if it'll actually fit in there and all all the all the bolts in there they seem to match what's behind this this bar right here so if you look at it from the outside you can actually see the uh, the bolt right here. here and same thing on the other side this is a 2019 uh, forerunner and I think they're different than than the other I, I don't think I even had to remove the plastic I'm gonna put it back on there this plastic that I removed from here uh, and uh, and see if I can just keep it there and still removing it. It goes all the way across that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Put it back in here and see if if the uh, bumper will fit. Okay, so I managed to do this side. Uh, it was a pain in the ass, but I mean pain in the butt. <laughs> and. Uh, The reason is because um, this right here, it's got like a little right here. It's kind of like hard to get in there with the tools. So you had to work this little area back and forth. And uh, that's, I mean, I'm done with this. I have to go the, I'm doing the other side right now. But I took the screws out. I mean, the screws, the uh, bolt. And uh, this one is gonna go. Where's it at? Right here. It's gonna go in here, up in there. And uh, so you can see this right here kind of like gets on the way from screwing it in here so that's what I'm working with um, you can actually probably move, remove the bumper maybe I don't know if that's gonna make it easier but I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna work extra hard on doing this and not waste my time on remove the entire bumper off I know that there is other book art set that that you can remove the bumper and then they uh, they cut this section off and we decided to go with the, the other route where you don't have to cut anything out and just put the the bumper on there but uh, it's still kind of difficult but 
I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side, see how long that's gonna take me. That took me about maybe about 40 minutes to do one side. And the reason it took me that long is because I was I needed something like this so I can get some more leverage on there and uh, stick it in here like that so I can loosen the bolt. So I had to cut that little piece off. I don't have any uh, air tools that would do that, so it does. I had to do it manually. So there's a bolt right there. So now my next thing is to just put my fingers in there and start putting everything back together again with that piece over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Here's the other side. So I'll be right back. All right, so after struggling with the other side, I struggled. Nothing is like, I don't know, it's nothing is like how it's supposed to go. So he said to uh, do a snug, don't tighten them up, the one up, up there. But uh, if I don't do that right now, then it's gonna be even more difficult with this being there or this I don't know maybe it was gonna be more difficult but I go ahead and go ahead oh man I'm out of breath <laughs> I was uh trying to put this in here so I kind of like set the bumper down and then put that one while the bumper was down the I'm calling it the bumper was the guard and uh put those in there first the other side too and then uh and then i lifted it up and then i put the other bolts in here there's not they're not on there tight yet but kind of like set them on there and then i'm gonna come over here and make sure that uh this is even and level with the uh, distance from here to here from here to here but uh yeah that's all i need now all I need to do is tighten the bolts and uh, and then after that I had to figure out how to connect the uh, LEDs it came with a it came with a wire harness too so we'll see how that goes so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tighten those up and uh, and then come back with the uh, LEDs all right so I saw it installed now the next thing is to do the uh, uh, the uh, LED now before you put the bumper make sure you check where the uh, battery is <laughs> because uh, this right here this wire was on this side so I just had to take the uh, light bar while I was on here and it's I think it's a lot harder than doing it before you actually install the uh, the guard on there but uh, now now the wires on the right side so uh, that's where the battery is now I don't know if that's matters but based on what I've installed in the past it should matter because that's where the power is gonna come from maybe I don't know I haven't looked at the instructions but more than likely so then I'm gonna have to do some wiring and get the uh, switch in there some somehow um, I see a little rubber thing over here maybe I can remove that and see what that one leads to and it's gotta be high, high on the inside so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that anyway but uh, I'll figure it out as we go but from what I can see, it seems like that's gonna be the the uh, fastest way. So I'll be right back. All right, so now I'm under the uh, the third. We call it the third TRD. Um, there's uh, one end of the wires. It's got the uh, regular plugs. One of them is red. The other one is black. And I have the wire coming from 
from the light bar right there and I'm gonna run it through here and I have this wire coming from the top of close to where the battery is so I can start uh, kind of like taping this up or I just, uh, like I'm gonna put some tape over here hopefully that's gonna hold if not then I come back and do something else but put some electrical tape here and I'm, I'm gonna wrap this up with electrical tape and and uh, then I'm gonna start working on the top by the battery all right so I cut the wire coming from down down there I was about to say from downstairs and now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tie this together that's like a lot of extra wire here um, here's the fuse and it's just one long wire and then he's like a relay or whatever this is looks like a relay uh, again you know one of them goes to uh, red the other one goes to black positive negative so I'm gonna have to maybe put put it right here and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the positive side over there and I'm gonna have to uh, probably that's gonna have to be ground grounded somewhere with the vehicle maybe or I don't know if that's just for um, uh, what you call it just to hold it somewhere but just in case I'm gonna go ahead and put it over here on this side with this bolt and then ride the wire inside they didn't leave they didn't leave much wire to go inside so hopefully it's, it's gonna reach in there here's a plug so I can guess if I'm having trouble uh, inserting this in there I can just unplug it and then somehow plug it inside in the under the uh, dashboard I have a feeling that this is gonna be a pain in the butt but uh, we'll see I'm gonna go ahead and uh, strap this together and then connect it to the battery and like I said this one over here see how that goes so I'll be right back all right so everything is plugged in wired put the uh, positive right there ran the negative I mean the positive here put the positive ne uh, negative there fuses right behind that and then I uh, bundle all the extra wire right here with the twisty tie and uh, I didn't put it right there I ended up putting it right there because uh, this is kind of fat so if I put it right here it's gonna be sticking out too much over here so I just found a screw and put it on there and then I have some uh, extra the extra wire here and I was I did I tried put it in there in here but that was too small so I had to go a different route so I kind of like made a hole in there I'm gonna put some uh, later on I put come back and put some silicone so the uh, the water doesn't get in there and uh, came back this way with the switch right there I, kind of, I took I stuck my hand under there and I took the uh, little plastic that's on there and have it right here in my pocket just uh, stuck my hand in there and now I was able to push on this little thing right here but it was yeah it was like that stuck my hand in there I was able to kind of like push this in there yeah, I think you can just pry it off but I I was able to put my hand in there and you because it's got like little clips on there so if you pry it off from here you should be able to come out with the tension you know moving it back in anyways um then came down here 
the wires coming in from I don't know if you can see but it's coming in from uh, back there and uh, plugged it in because I unplug it then plug the uh, switch in it looks like it's got power to it so so it says off right now Let's see what happens if I turn it on oh yeah behind it you know I just put some hot glue on there so, it, so I can fill it in uh, later on if I want to put a regular switch in here I can because uh, uh, because of this thing I can just go and find a switch that will fit like this I might use this as, as reference and then put a regular switch in here so it doesn't look like this but shows it that the light it's on so let's go and check it out and it is so there it is it worked anyways uh i hope this helped you know just based on reading the instructions yeah i'll show you the instructions so these are the instructions for this as you can see it's kind of like hard to see black and white and they kind of point you out uh see this is the uh, plastic center and side splash guards this one didn't have it so i didn't i guess i didn't have to worry about that and i just looked at that right there and i just based my reference on the uh, hooks on the bottom because these are this 2019 is kind of different than what they're showing over here it says that it's for a 2010 2014 toyota 4runner and this one it says on the description that this was for 2019 or oh, 2020 too so i don't know what they're where they send these instructions um and that's what they have they don't even look like that uh, here's the uh bottom of it i have nothing on this on this third uh, suv we call it third because because of that right there third anyways uh -oh. back to this research anyways uh yeah um i just after finish reading uh number three over here uh it says figure two to look at it then i did and um then i went back and i never looked at this instructions against after that it doesn't even tell you how to wire anything so uh hope me showing you what i did over here can help help you out on the wiring part anyway uh i'm gonna go ahead and turn those light up, lights off and uh, uh thank you for watching and make sure you like and subscribe and i hope the help this help uh this helped you installing this light so Thank you for watching.